Hey guys, welcome back to part 13 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. So in part 12, we actually invited Ray to come over. We were going to kind of see if we could have her move in, but she never showed up. Actually, she did. However, it is the same day, just a few hours later, as you can see, and Chan was just in bed doing the meme when she rang the doorbell and um you know he, he can't let this opportunity pass him up because she's really hard to get anyway so he's gonna actually just run downstairs really quick invite her inside and if we can we're gonna go and um ask her to move in with us because we really need someone to run our our uh resort when we're working and not to mention Chan just absolutely adores Ray, and um, he wouldn't he wouldn't want it any other way. So we got to go ahead and uh, let's see, invite her inside. He wants to kiss her. We can do that afterwards. Um, we're gonna be friendly. Ask about her day. We got to make ourselves very sociable for her to um, want to move in with us, which kind of is strange, I think. Or I wish that that option would um, be available even when you're just being romantic. Because that kind of makes sense. But anyways. Oh, Chan. He's so sexy. What am I going to do? Oh, jeez. Ray would be crazy to say no. But uh, I don't know what's going on. There's some awkwardness here. So let's just... Oh, there she goes. Okay, she, she was actually changing her outfit. Um, Alright, so she thinks we're being alluring. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Got a telephone call. Sorry, guys. That was my sister calling. Um, anyways, so we are going to congratulate her on uh, graduating for the fi 520,000th time, if that's a number. Uh, but now we can finally ask her to move in. So he's being very sweet about it. And she goes, yeah, sure. Why not? <gasps> Do you see? Girl, I know those aren't leggings. Do you see? <gasps> her legs? Do you see them? Do you see her legs? Do you see her legs? Oh my god, Ray's a mermaid. <gasps> I mean, I didn't plan that or expect that, but that is crazy. That is so crazy. So she's actually a mermaid. What the heck? No wonder Chan loved her so much. And she wasn't a mermaid in our last part, so that's really, 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 really strange. Hold your horses. Oh my goodness. Are you serious right now? Like, how amazing is that? So she can catch a fish while diving. She can go scuba diving. She wants to look for diving work at the city hall. There's diving work? Oh, okay. Um, and she wants to dive four times. Okay, so those are a few things that we can go ahead and do. Um, she also wants to own a three-star resort. So let's actually, let's see. Oh, do we accidentally click out of that? Oh, I think I did. Okay, never mind then. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, so she's a mermaid. I had no freaking idea. Like, does that show up anywhere? I mean, I'm so like, ah, so shocked because just in the last part, she was, she wasn't a mermaid. That is so strange. Okay, anyways, I'm over it, but I'm kind of thinking of how I should play out the story next with her being a mermaid and all. Anyways, she's gonna go to sleep. I don't think Chan knows she's a mermaid. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to keep it under wraps, I guess. And, uh, you know, maybe she can help Simone become a mermaid, and that would be absolutely amazing because I think Simone would genuinely want that. Um, gosh, I don't even know what to do. Like, that was so unexpected. I'm usually easy, I'm usually good at predicting you know, what's gonna happen next in the Let's Play, but now I'm completely thrown off guard. Oh my goodness crazy. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to let these guys sleep and I guess catch my catch my breath here. I'm so like out of words, but uh, when everyone wakes up, we will pick up from there. Alrighty guys, so I am back. It is seven o'clock in the manana. Carlos's Castaway Resort has earned 1,000 simoleons, give or take a few, which is awesome. We finally reached three stars. Can you believe it? Seriously, three stars already. I'm so excited. So obviously their next goal um, is to have a four star resort. Uh, I was actually able to um, fulfill that want or wish for Ray as well. Um, the opportunity came up. So she also got some some sim points for that and Chan did as well. Before we wake up everybody, uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at our resort to see if there's any new reviews, how things are going on down there. 
Also in part um, 11, I believe, or 12, was it? I don't even know where we are in this. I think it was 12. We were able to um, explore a brand new dive spot, Davy Jones's Locker. So we're going to do a lot of stuff today. Not to mention it's Love Day. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, resort management. View our resort reviews. Uh, it says a little landscaping will go a long way in an already beautiful resort. We were really happy with the cleanliness of the pool. Did I just walk into a garbage dump? Um, it says, I stayed at a competitor's resort last year and had a great time at the Firewalk Pit. Fortunately, this place cheaped out and decided not to offer one. This resort needs to f invest in some decent gym equipment. Um, so many neat options. So let it veggie, uh, veggie, veggie, veggie options. What a disappointment buffet. Um, so basically, we need to do a little more landscaping. I guess this isn't enough, which I totally agree with. We should probably add a firewalk pit. And um, as for the gym situation, like, I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of room. Uh, so we have to figure that later on. When Ray moved in, we were actually given 5,000 simoleons. So I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade um this little resort area right there so see that's pretty pretty cool and if i want to make it like a, a double decker like slash two story sort of thing it's ten thousand simoleons and clearly we don't have that so i'm gonna go ahead and add in some shrubbery and uh maybe a firewalk pit things like that and i'll be right back Okay, so I did a lot more than add some shrubbery, per se. Um, I completely revamped the place yet again, just because there wasn't a lot of room to begin with. Um, so I, I, I basically used all of our funds, and we only have $146 left, which isn't a lot, but again, I do feel like it was money well spent. So the inside is changed. Now it's orange. Um, the bathroom is a little more dark and dreary. I'll probably upgrade that a little bit later on. Uh, as you can see, I I finally um, created more space by downsizing the bathrooms and I am now able to go ahead and throw in some more uh, what you call it buffet tables to make the guests a little more happy at their stay um, or during their stay if we go to the second floor um, I created a certain or a specific room for the gym area and I know they wanted more equipment but we just don't have that right now so I did add a uh, chin up bar thing I guess um, and a poster so you make sure that you you're doing it right so you can end up like you know Arnold Schwarzenegger or Schwarzenegger? Is that his name? Yeah, whatever. You can end up like that guy on the poster. Sure. Okay. So that is that. And then a lot of you said, Jen, add a place where you can get married. Um, and uh, so I slapped it up here on the rooftop. Beautiful, gorgeous view overlooking the ocean. And um, although it's not, you know, perfect, it's still a nice little place. And I think this is where Ray and Chan Chan will get married if they, um, if they decide to. So... I did add a few more plants and things like that, but not as many as I hoped I would be able to. But again, you know, when you have a resort, it's a big financial, um, I guess it's not really a burden, but it's it, it's a big financial responsibility. So uh, as we get more money, we'll be able to do more things. So anyways, after all the jibba jabba, let's go ahead and uh, get everybody woken up. Ray is going to quickly um change into her everyday wear and uh it's not like you can't notice the the blue little the blue little fins or whatever the pff, scales i don't know what they're called uh so we're gonna have chan also make his side of the bed they're looking a little hungry so i'm gonna have him go downstairs and show off his waffle making skills simone actually needs to um go ahead and uh let's see she'll take a shower She's really hungry as well, and she also needs to fix the broiler at her school, so we'll have her do that. I think we'll earn some simoleons. Um, as for um, Ray here, I'm not exactly sure what a uh, what a mermaid eats or what they can eat. She has a few new things in her inventory, but first I wanted to show you guys her skills. Uh, she's actually a level 10 in scuba diving, which means she pretty much has access to all of the diving spots around the globe, so she'll, she'll become quite handy. Um, I don't know what else she's capable of doing, but uh, we do have a few things here that we could sell, like for instance the sailboat. Um, we can't sell the Skimtron speedboat for some reason, but we uh, also have a Lazy Daisy paddle boat, which I want to um, see how that works. So we'll keep those things. We can get rid of 
Oh, no, we can't. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, we could get rid of the camera, but that doesn't work as well. So anyway, um, I'm going to actually have Ray go down to... No, she'll wait for Chan's pancakes since he is making them just for her. But after that, I'm going to have her go to the resort and kind of take care of things a little bit because it's getting messy down there. Not to mention, we're probably going to hire a few more staff. And um, uh, well, we're going to have Chandler go and explore, uh, let's see, Davy Jones's locker or whatever. So I'm going to have her actually use the bathroom because this TV is just it's destroying her brain here. And we'll have her wash her hands as well. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what you do with a mermaid. Like, this was just, just, was just thrown upon me, man. I feel like it's such a responsibility, <laughs> but I don't know what they do. So we'll have to see, uh, maybe later when she takes a swim in the ocean at the resort. Um, let's see. I think Simone is just about on her way. Um, and it's love day, by the way. So she actually wants to go over to the gym and she's having yet another emotional breakdown. This girl is all over the freaking place. And look, Florita is getting her Mac on. Oh, it's actually not Florita. It's, it's, oh, never mind. It's Lopita Alto with her cheating, scandalous husby over here, trying to look like Donald Trump oh, with his big old schnozzle dozzle. I don't even like this guy. He's so sneaky, I swear. And look at him, laying on the Mac Daddy by giving her some cheap old yellow flowers. It's kind of ridiculous. But she seems excited, so whatever, I'll mind my own business. Um, okay, so Rain and uh, Chan are, you know, enjoying some waffles here. How cute! I love it. I love them. They are awesome. All right, so he's done. I think he's pretty good. I don't really know if he needs anything else. We're not going to worry about it too much. So let's go have him spend a little time on his own here. And we're going to go find Davy Jones's locker. I'm not sure where it is, but... Um, we'll have to just kind of search around here. Okay, so it looks like it's actually over here. Um, kind of a ways away, but we're going to go and can't we scuba dive? It says this area is too dangerous. Oh, goodness gracious. So we have to build our scuba diving skill just a little bit more before we can actually, um, scuba dive in that spot. So that's kind of, kind of stupid. Um, I guess we will just have her, him go over, um, and scuba dive at the Rocky Reef for now. And we'll focus in on Ray. I'm pretty sure she could go visit the, uh, Davy Jones's locker, but we're going to actually have her go visit Carlos's castaway resort for a little while. So, and then after that, maybe we will go look for diving work at the city hall or whatever. But we have a few things that she wants to fulfill first. So we will make sure she does those. And I think Chan has already left. Uh, he's actually taking the taxi boat. And um, I think he'll be fine. So, all right, let's have her go ahead and hurry on up here. Do, do, do. She's kind of slow. <laughs> It's all right though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother her. Um, I wonder what boat she's gonna take. For some reason, we can't even sell this one, which kind of sucks. So, she's going in her swimsuit. This is a little strange. Is she gonna swim all the way there? Oh my goodness, she so is, and she's not even in her. Oh, there she goes. Oh, that's what she looks like swimming in the ocean, and she looks like she's naked with no top. Oh my goodness, that's a little risque. Um, no. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing, Ray? You're a little crazy. Oh my goodness, it's so strange. I like it though. She's like really majestic looking. Um, anyways, let's see. I don't know. Let's have her just boat over there because apparently she just really wants to swim. Which is fine, but you know, that's gonna take forever. So let's just, um, we'll boat here. And it looks like Simone, um, is done with fixing the broiler and she earned some school performance and also uh, got some got $300 or so and it looks like she's gonna go join this Lupita family or the Alto family and uh, steal one of their uh, hamburgers from the um, picnic bench here after that you know we're gonna have her call Joel and just chat with him a little bit we'll send some text messages to also improve their relationship because oh Okay, then. That was rude, but at least, at least she got a hamburger out of it. <laughs> I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but anyway. Um, yeah, she'll just go ahead and uh, send a whole bunch of text messages here. 
Hopefully she won't glitch again. Okay, I don't know what the hell is her problem. We'll have her eat that afterwards. Uh, so Ray has boated over there, and I think we're actually at the resort now. Uh, we're just gonna have her not start that balloon fight, and there was a couple things that needed to be done here. Like this counter is super freaking dirty. Nobody has cleaned it, which is ridiculous. Um, but whatever. And then we need to feed Rachel, because I don't think anyone's fed her in quite a while. And let's, while we're at it, go ahead and manage our maintenance crew. And we will do another, we'll do two medium upkeeps and then one high quality upkeep. And I'm not understanding why, even with that many people, no one's actually doing their freaking job. Um, let's see, hire employee for the bar. Um, let's see. Can we set the shifts? Do, do, do. We're going to do all hours. For some reason, he's also not showing up, which is quite strange, but whatever. Um, she wants to buy a pool water vol for the resort. Do we not have one? No, we don't. I don't even know where we would put one, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? She's afraid of the water. She doesn't like the water, but yet she's a mermaid. Like, that does not make any sense whatsoever. So we're probably going to have to change her traits later on. Um, but we're going to let her go ahead and do a few things. And uh, she's going to also pick this pick this daisy. Um, I don't really know what else she can do here uh, that will, like, benefit, you know, the place. But I thought she ate waffles, and she's still hungry. That's kind of strange. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> every mermaid needs to eat. Fish is good, but kelp is better. So she has to eat fish and kelp. So she really needs to go ahead and catch a fish underwater. So instead of screwing around town here, we're going to go visit, um, we're going to go visit Davy Jones's locker by ourselves. Um, and then Chan over here is currently, what is he looking at? He is viewing stuff underwater. Um... There's not really a ton for him to do. He wants to kiss somebody. He's also going to enthuse about diving. He's just about um, to up or get another level here, which is awesome. Uh, I wonder if we can catch this little guy right here. Then we can give it to Ray and then... Um, oh, no, he disappeared. Fantastic. Do we catch him, though? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Because if she could just eat something real quick, that would be great. Oh, we found a hermit crab! And he's worth a lot of money, though. I think we're going to sell him <laughs> instead. Uh, warm wetsuit. All of, or the sudden underwater scare gave... <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. It says the sudden underwater scare has given your sim a warm feeling and uncomfortable... Did he pee his wetsuit? Chandler, are you serious? You had a whoopsie-daisy in you. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so gross. Oh look, there's an eel. Let's go ahead and catch this eel really quick too. He also wants to kiss somebody on love day. So we're gonna have to have them spend a little time together. Uh, looks like Simone here is gonna go home. That's fine, we'll let her go ahead and do that. Um, I wanna check up on Ray. Um, she is currently going to swim to Davy Jones's locker. That is such a trip. I don't understand why they just don't boat there. Like, obviously, that's a lot faster. Um, so let's see. Can we just, can we boat here by ourselves? Yeah, let's just boat here. Um, there's not really a lot for Simone to do, but she does need to also improve her diving skill. Uh, I want her to spend a little time with, um... Joel, if we can. So let's go ahead and invite him out, actually. Uh, we'll take him over to the Spring Fiesta, I think, for a little bit, and uh, spend a little time with him, since she's, again, having another mood swing. Chandler's eel was actually worth $843, which is extremely, um, extremely expensive. And why, okay, I was gonna say, what the heck was that? That was weird. Um, that's actually worth a lot of money, so we'll have him sell that as well, I think, once he... What? What is he doing? He's viewing something. And did we catch the eel? I don't think we did. That's really strange. Um, okay. Breathing shallowly. So basically, he needs to get out of the water really quickly. Um, so we'll have him get out in just a minute here. Uh, let's have him go ahead and, um, go home. 
As for Ray, she is on her way to J.V. Jones's locker, finally boating, which makes a lot more sense. Um, and we should be there shortly. I'm really excited to check that place out. Hopefully at some point Chan will be able to join her. And it looks like the uh, Stingray isn't in our inventory, but this little crazy gnome guy is. So we'll sell that. And uh, she should be there in just a little bit. And Simone actually is spending some time with Joel. So we will go ahead and meet up with them, even though it's raining, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and pause this really, really quick. I don't know what the heck is going on, like, with my my game right now. Like, what the heck is this? This is all sorts of messed up. Um, okay. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully I'll be able to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and actually save my game and restart it really quick and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, so I think I fixed the problem. That was really, really, really weird. I've never had that happen to me before, but hopefully everything works out. Um, so we are going to be romantic, give him a pickup line. Uh, let's go ahead and see how our, um, our relationship or how strong our relationship is. If we can go and use the love meter over here, I think that would be a ton of fun. I have may <clears throat> or may not have done this with Joel before, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go ahead and uh, try that out really quick. So they should be coming over here in just a quick second here. Do, do, do. All right, and looks like we're actually on a date with him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's try to actually make this relationship a little bit stronger here. Oh, so yeah, we're not we're not really compatible at all. This is clammy. Celebrate common traits, for example. You both seem willing to settle. Oh, ouch. All right, well, someone's gonna pick up some festival eggs. Um, we'll also let her go ahead and search for eggs too. I don't know, kill some time. Uh, even though we're in a, we're in like a date kind of thing, I think we both know that uh, Joel's not the one. He's just not. But um, on the, the flip side here, Ray is just kind of getting her mermaid on. Um, we're in Davy Jones's locker right now, and she's actually really, really, really freaking hungry. Um, I just want to take a peek around and see this place because I've never been here before, but it looks really pretty. Um, wow, it's really awesome looking actually. I wonder if there's any cool things to be had. I really need her to, to catch a fish or something. She's actually really hungry. We don't have anything edible in our inventory. Um, oh, we have an eel. Actually, that just showed up kind of strange. So can she eat the eel? Like, I know that's kind of scary, but I think she can. And she's really hungry. So we're going to have her eat the eel. Um, even though it's worth like $800. <laughs> I don't care. She needs to eat. It's either that or she dies. I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and have her explore this underwater cave with this little gizmo up on top and see what we find. So I guess you guys, mermaids are real. And um, Chandler actually has been... Um, conferred to the new title of Buoyancy Vertercero, and for some strange reason we are having glitches with, um, with that lot. So I have to go back there and actually manually edit it myself. Fun. Every time I go to like a new dive spot with the caves or whatever, I have an issue. So I'll go ahead and actually fix that in a minute when she gets back over there and we'll, we'll try again. Um, we received an invite, but I don't know from who, so let's go ahead and see if we can find out who that was from. I don't remember who was invited, but I don't know. This whole thing with Joel just doesn't seem to be working out very well, so, um, you know, I'll just let her go ahead and, uh, search for her eggs, and then, you know, whatever else. Looks like Chandler's actually going to work out, so we'll have him don't break a sweat. Uh, and then, well, I guess we'll just focus on Ray for a little bit. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, she should be there in just a second. It's not that far off into the shore or off into the, you know, water or whatever. She wants to flirt a little bit. Okay, okay. But we need to have her hurry. She's hungry again. And, um, what else? I want her and Chan to kind of, like, go on a romantic date, whether it's the new, you know, bistro place or somewhere else. And I think Chandler's gonna, Chandler's gonna ask him, her, him, her, <laughs> 
Ray to marry him. But uh, before we get into all that, I'm going to actually go ahead and fix the glitch with the stupid cave. I shall be right back. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and give this a second try. Um, if you do have glitches with your caves, like me, where it automatically resets your sim to the near shore, try to actually um, edit it using testing cheats, enable true, and then just shift, click, and then you can um, buy on this lot, edit this lot, and all that cool stuff, and hopefully it will actually work, and it looks like it is. So we're going to have her go ahead and just kind of do her, her thing and explore a little bit. I don't really see too much else to be had down here, um, but yeah, we'll just let her go ahead and look. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this ugly little turd biscuit. I wish we could just like catch him and eat him because we would never be hungry <laughs> ever. Anyway, I'm going to let Ray... Uh, take shelter in there and just kind of explore and stuff and hopefully she'll find something cool as for Simone looks like she's still searching for those festival eggs um, and we got a golden egg that's pretty cool I think we're gonna go ahead and try one more time to really make this relationship work with Joel he's a cute guy and so is his brother his brother's like really cute one of my sims is dating him or was dating him um, but we're gonna just we're gonna you know what maybe we are Maybe we are going to settle. I mean, she just wants to experience what it's like to be with a, a guy. Even though she is going to be aging in two days. Um, it would be nice to, like, I don't know, date, maybe? I don't know. Um, but let's be done with the eggs. Oh, her little Easter basket's so cute. And, uh, oh, the seek in privacy. Very nice. Oh. Oh, they were searching for eggs together. How cute. That's cute. All right, so we're gonna try this one more freaking time here. Be romantic. Um, we're gonna pull all the stops. We'll be flirty. Pick up line. You know the whole the whole nine yards. And uh, Chandler's still actually working out. <gasps> and it says you have found a new exit to the cave system. Do you wish to see where it leads? All right, so. <gasps> oh my goodness. We found an uncharted island. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Oh my goodness, you guys. We found this new island. Oh my, oh my, oh my, my. That is so freaking exciting. Oh, right, way to go, girl. I'm so proud. Um, it says, while exploring the cave, Ray Maserati, or whatever her name is, Matsuri, found a second exit out of the cave system and uh she also discovered some tanzanite so that is really awesome uh she's really 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 hungry i don't even know where she is she's actually on this island right now this is really cool so we could actually build our own little our own little oasis or we could expand our um our what you call it um um our, our like resort real estate by adding it on the island i don't know yet but for some reason my game's being really 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 laggy right now by just being over there that's kind of strange so i think ray and chan need to go meet up somewhere but i'm gonna actually have her go over to the local grocer and pick up some groceries such as uh what you call it like fish and things like that anchovies um we need to actually probably fish for these things but for right now i think this will be fine so we're gonna have her boat there and then um after that we'll handle it but uh chan is still working his little kabusi off um he stinks it's, he's a mess the whole nine yards i keep saying that i need to find a different phrase but whatever we're actually gonna have him go ahead and um take a quick shower so he can freshen up a little Simone and um, Joel are getting quite quite acquainted, you know, hidden upon these upon these bushes. I don't know. Uh, she he thinks she is being extremely irresistible. Um, we're gonna go ahead and confess our attraction for Joel. He's kind of been like a hard to get kind of guy, and I think that really, 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 really draws like Simone's attention to him. But uh, wow, we're actually being romantically involved. So we're gonna propose going steady. Um, if he says yes, that would be great. Oh my goodness, they have such a little relationship, but, you know, we're actually boyfriend and girlfriend. Cool, so we are gonna stroke his cheek and also give him, or get a, ourselves a first kiss. Very nice. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do this. 
Oh, yay! So we are finally romantically involved with someone. Simone got her first teenage boyfriend, and she's living, I guess, the teenage dream. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. Can we take a romantic photo with him? Probably not. I don't think so. We're gonna kiss him goodbye and then go home. Um, Ray, on the other hand, should be just about there. She is. I'm thinking we're gonna have her go ahead and uh, hurry up, go to the grocery store, shop for some groceries. She's really, really hungry. And um, Chance over here recycling the newspapers. So he's really, really hungry as well. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I think we're gonna take her out somewhere. I don't know where, let's see. Let's go take a peek, shall we? We can go to all the places we've already been a million freaking times. Um, Chandler actually does have to go to work tomorrow, which kind of sucks, so I was going to say maybe we should stay over at a resort or something. Um, but, you know what, I think we'll take her, um, I don't know, let's go to the gardens real quick. I think, where are they? I don't, I don't know. Um, they're over here. Okay, so if we go meet her over at the garden area, I think we could go ahead and propose here, because it's a really pretty place. Is this the gardens, or... Yeah, no it is. Beso de Sol Garden. Okay, so we'll have him go here. And then after she's done shopping for groceries, we will have her um, meet Chandler here as well. And they may or may not go out to eat. I don't know. Maybe we'll just pick up a couple extra things for Chan to snack on and then they'll save their money since we don't have a lot. And uh, we'll, um, we'll go home or whatever. But wow, we actually do have a lot of money. We have 5,817 simoleons, which is very very well needed um but yeah let's go ahead and see what we can get we'll get a can we get kelp from here okay so we can so we're gonna get let's see we'll get like fifth can we get like 15 kelp or is that like too much money no 15 kelp is pretty good um and then for chandler we'll get like two three purple egg three purple egg plants why not so random um and we'll have her eat eat some kelp here. Hopefully that will help her out a lot. Um, yeah, that'll boost her hunger a little. So, actually did pretty well. We'll give her one more, one more kelp here. Sweet. Okay, so now it is time to meet up with Chandler before he ends up going home. Uh, let's go over here and let's see. Hopefully we can do this before, um, he gets bored and just leaves because I swear whenever I have important like an important date or something my sims just they always screw it up for me uh, he's actually streaming a video right now and spending some time with um, his phone <laughs> he's improving his phone skills I don't know uh, cool we're actually on level six of the lifeguard career so we're moving we're moving quite fast through it um, that's pretty nice and it uh, feels like forever since I've done a video, I swear. It's been like, I don't know, how long? I've had some pre-filmed videos, but it just feels so long. I don't know, I feel feel kind of awkward, not gonna lie, um, you know. But anyways, she should be here in just a minute. Looks like she's actually swimming. Oh my goodness, girlfriend, seriously. <sighs> Whatever, she's almost there anyway. And you know what, she's burning some carbs, get, earning some athletic, so why not let the girl be? And she's almost there anyways, but she needs to change out of her little outfit. So, wow, he's waiting really patiently. He's actually playing some soccer right now, so that's cool. All right, so before he notices our, you know, little fins or whatever we got going on, let's change into our everyday outfit real quick. And let's go meet our man. Let's go right here. And since it is love day, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to, you know, propose to her and stuff. So we're going to um, kiss her. We will give her a hug. Um, we're going to compliment her appearance. And let's promise to protect her forever and ever. Yeah, and hopefully he'll put down this damn ball. Okay, there he goes. And look at his arms. Oh my goodness, he's getting quite beefy. Damn, Bo! Those are some big arms. Like, seriously? Wow. And he looks good. Like, I don't like a lot of my Sims to be buff, but he looks delicious or delectable. <laughs> okay, buff. Like, he looks amazing. Anyways, um, let's just really lay on the mac and cheese on this girl because I don't have all day. This probably, this part is like hours long already. It feels like it, but um, we're just gonna, we're gonna kind of rush this a little bit, so... 
flirty, alluring. Uh, we just need it to be like super irresistible. And I think after this makeout sesh, that should do the job. Let me see here. Okay, I don't know if that worked, but let's go ahead and... <gasps> no, that didn't work. Okay, we're gonna stroke a cheek. This always works. This is like a fail-proof situation. Maybe not. Kiss, one more time. Flirt, again, sure. Okay, whew, we finally got it going. So we are going to now propose marriage. And yes, I will change Chandler's outfit. I just, I can't lie, I love watching his arms <laughs> flex in this little, in this little tank top. But yeah, he does need a new look. Oh, how cute. Very nice. Of course she said yes. And now Chandler and Ray are engaged. How sweet, I love it. Um, cool, all right, it says congratulations. Chandler and Ray are now engaged. And we know the drill with that. They can either have a big extravagant wedding or they can do something a little more private. My idea is that they should get married at the resort now that we have a place for them to do so. We're gonna have them go home. It's one o'clock in the morning. And oh my gosh, Simone, seriously, she set a booby trap for the chair. Like she just couldn't resist. Like she had to do it. But uh, um, I'll have someone land on it. So just to make her feel better inside, I guess. Uh, she actually wants to travel with Joel. That's kind of strange. Um, anyways, tomorrow's her birthday, so we'll definitely have to celebrate that once Chan gets off of work. Uh, Simone's sleeping. She should be okay till the morning. Ray's great. She's doing awesome. Um, we're going to have her go ahead and uh, go to sleep. But for some reason, she's doing Frisbee, so I don't know what's going on here. But we need to have her go here and go here as well. Hold on. What are they doing? Like, seriously, nobody freaking listens at all. At all. Nobody listens. Oh, anyways, you pretty much know what's going to happen. Nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up part 13, I believe, right here. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.